Uh, first of all, thanks to the TEDx organizers for organizing uh, uh, this event. I think it's a fantastic event, and thanks for inviting me. Uh, before I came here, I, I actually had a match this afternoon, and in, as per the original schedule, I was to speak post lunch. So I called up Ajay and said, Ajay, I got a match here. Put me before lunch. So the next thing I know, like I'm first up in the morning. So <laughs> I told my mom, uh, Mom, I'm going to speak first up in the morning. So she said, uh, uh, At least everyone will be alert when in the morning they they listen to you. I said, Yeah, everyone will be alert. I'll be feeling sleepy. <laughs> so anyway. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, my passion for sport and 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 what uh, I do uh, right now. I said, uh, growing up as a 16-year-old, my my most vivid memory was of of Leanne the Pace winning the bronze medal at the Atlanta Olympics in 1996, and 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 that was India's first individual medal at an Olympic Games. And uh, tell me, who in this country hasn't spoken of, you know, uh, at, at the dinner table or, or anywhere else? A a billion cup population or a key medal yeah you know, i think at some point of time every single one of us has said that and me growing up as a kid you know that really gave me the dream uh, that i wanted to play hockey for the country and i would do everything to get that medal as a player uh, i played for india i captained the country i i went on to play at the olympics Un unfortunately me as a player uh, i couldn't get that elusive medal and 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 that has had a deep impact on me and uh, you know, I I want I still want to do everything to now help India's top athletes to win medals at the Olympics, and 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 that's what I'm going to tell you a little about as you know the problems and difficulties that we face, and and what according to from my experiences are the uh, are the insights that we can do to actually help them to do that. Um, you know, as sports person, the country pride, respect, hope glory really eludes us because that one piece of metal eludes us. For me it takes just six grams of gold to lift the worth of a nation. That's that's the weight of gold in an Olympic medal. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, uh, why does this happen? Why do we fight the odds? What's happening and how we can actually go about it? India at the Beijing Olympics 2008. India's population over a billion. We had one gold medal, Abhinav Bindra. I was just looking at some of the statistics for the Olympics. I, I didn't want to take a big country like the US and all. There's no point compa uh, comparing them as such. Belarus, 69th according to, to GDP. They had four gold medals. Now, Belarus can't be such a big uh, advanced country. If you talk about the US, Michael Phelps himself won more gold medals then, then India has won individual medal since the since independence. In one Olympics, Michael Phelps by himself. So I don't even want to go down that lane. But why does this happen? Ajay, can you change it from there? It's not clicking. Sorry. Back. Sorry about that. Okay, the 2006 Hockey World Cup in Munchen Gladbach. I played that game. First match, India Germany. India matched Germany move for move for 69 minutes of a 70 minute match. The score was 2 all. In India actually hit the post twice. Okay, we ended up conceding a goal in the last minute. Germany won the match 3 2. Okay, I looked at the I looked at the German team after the match. Okay. Germany had a 14-member support staff. India had four-member support staff. Germany went on to win all uh, to win the that World Cup. India finished 11th. My point being, the difference is very close in 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 sheer talent. But the German team, they had a coach, assistant coach, they had a physio, masseur, doctor, and we even joked they, they had someone to wash their undies also. So uh, the, the India had had just a coach. Assistant coach, goalkeeper, Germany 14 member support staff. So the backup support, what goes into making of a, a champion Olympic team is so, so important. Sanjay Kolte, he, he was voted as India's Super Cup best boxer in the year 2009. In in the year 2008, the, the Super Cup best boxer was Vijendra Singh, who we all know went on to win an Olympic bronze medal. Uh, the company I'm, ha I'm, I'm working with right now, we look after the training and preparation of India's best Olympic athletes. When I took over, I phoned Sanjay and asked him, Sanjay, tera training kaisa chal rahe? He said, Bhai sahab, uh, he was in the India boxing camp at Patiala. He said, 
भाई साहब पिछले तीन महीने से तो मैंने ट्रेनिंग ही नहीं किया तो ऐसे क्यों क्या हो गया तो सर भाई साहब स्टमक इंजरी हो गया तो ऐसे क्या डॉक्टर नहीं है कैम्प में ही सर भाई साहब हाँ डॉक्टर है लेकिन पिछले तीन महीने से मेरे को देसी इलाज मिल रहे हैं तो लाइक आई थॉट टू माई सेल्फ इंडियाज बेस्ट बॉक्सर हु इज अ पोटेंशियल मेडलिस्ट इन द इन द नेक्स्ट लंडन ओलम्पिक्स इज गेटिंग देसी इलाज एंड वी बोस्ट ऑफ अ कंट्री हु हैज़ द बेस्ट डॉक्टर्स एंड द बेस्ट इंजीनियर्स वॉट्स हैपनिंग दे एम सी मेरी कॉम सम ऑफ यूल मस्ट बी नोइंग हर एम सी मेरी कॉम इज द मोस्ट इंस्परेशनल स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन इन द कंट्री आई थिंक टूडे शी इज ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स ओल्ड नाउ शी हेज वन फोर वर्ल्ड बॉक्सिंग चैम्पियनशिप I feel like a spaceman. <laughs> um, she's as I said, she's 27 years old. When MC Mary Com, she's from Manipur in Imphal. She comes from such a poor family that growing up she didn't have three square meals a day to eat, and she went on to become world champion in a sport that you take so much punishment every single day. When Mary Com won her third world boxing championship, she got married, took a two-year sabbatical from the sport. delivered twins and came back and won a fourth world boxing championship so f- for me that's that's tremendously inspiration and and and, and this lady is one of the reasons why it gives me strength and courage to go on every single day you know the the heart and the passion that goes into making a champion um pt usha if you all remember pt usha india's only legendary athlete and 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 household name in athletics and you know sh- she missed uh, an olympic bronze medal by a hundredth of a second and she said if you know if 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 the coach had told her to actually dip her head at the finishing line probably she would have uh, won that medal simple things like that samresh jung he was he won five gold medals for india at the commonwealth games in 2006 uh, samresh says that uh, in india we have one good shooting range and uh, at baliwadi in pune and you know the shooting range is fantastic but there are 100 co shooters training and there's one foreign coach so you know there's no personalized attention for our athletes we expect them to go out there every four years and and win olympic medals but there's there's no uh, one to coach them as such i just wanted to give you an insight into what are the problems we face and um, prakash padukon geet sethi and myself we formed a company called o- olympic gold quest where we decided it's high time that we stop complaining we stop grumbling let's go out there and do something about this so olympic gold quest we look after the training and preparation of some of india's best athletes p- uh, preparing at the olympics from individual olympic sports uh, these are some of our focus disciplines uh, that we look at and uh, we stick to individual olympic sports because for a, for for a private organization you can have more more of an impact and an influence on on individual sports um, you know now the athletes selected f- Uh, this is something that we are very very careful about they they should have the genuine potential to to uh, to actually be olympic champions so when we research on athletes we look obviously look at their past performance their their performance in major tournaments but also something very important for me is the hunger and the desire and the passion to be the best in the world and not just uh, you know not just be happy with being the best in india you got to have that fierce desire to be the best in the world Uh, these are some of the athletes uh, we train that's gagan narang he's uh, he's a shooter that's guru sai dat he's he's one of india's best badminton players he's just 19 years old guru and he's climbed up almost 100 rankings in 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 world badminton today he's around uh, he's around 48 in the world you all must be all knowing saina nehwal saina nehwal is today number 5 in the world and uh, i think a, a, another absolute champion athlete um uh, you know it's interesting to note that in 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 badminton the top 10 players the top 10 women's badminton players in the world six are chinese and all four ahead of her are chinese again so we are up against a little bit of uh, a problem there but uh, yeah she's doing fantastic you know the the cost that goes into medal where we come in is all 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 my players are we handle uh, 15 athletes right now 15 of the best athletes in the country we're giving them really focused attention in terms of finding the the best coaches across the world the best training facilities ac- across the world uh, because of sanjay kolte's incident you know that set the the seed of an idea to to get the best doctors the best physios the best nutritionists the best mental trainers to support our atle- athletes if we want them to get that goal we got to ensure that they get that they get the absolute best 
and and you know this is uh, approximately the sort of a breakup in in indian rupees that's approximately 20 lakhs a year in in getting all this putting this together and giving attention to detail for all these athletes so what does it take to be a champion you know the simple things would be you know to to pay for their flight tickets we could just uh, you know pay for their flight tickets to send them to, uh, for training abroad give them hotel accommodation give them good food to eat it it, it takes much much more than that um, yeah, you know, things like nutritional supplements and all that. Um, I've spoken to a lot of nutritionists, and even what you eat three hours before a match, if you're playing a hockey match off, off your boxer, you're, 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 you're going to be having a fight in the afternoon. What you eat three hours before the match, what you eat and drink during the match, that has much as a 3% uh, enhance, that can have as much as a 3% enhancement in performance. So you see Roger Federer and, and, and Rafael Nadal uh, drinking all those fancy colorful drinks during the match. Uh, it, it's not them just having some nice uh, Rashna juice or something like that. That's, uh, that, that's actually a, a, a lot of science that goes into the nutrition and in, in, in what they drink. So you know that keeps them really having a go at each other for, for four or five hours and to be able to play at that pace. These are the little things that matter and, and it's that 1% difference that will be the difference between winning and losing and between India conceding a goal in the 69th minute versus Germany and then Germany going on to become world champions and India finishing 11th. So the, the difference is very small but attention to detail is so, so important. Okay, uh, Prakash Padukone has always said that the day India comes to the fore, we, uh, we will know that we come to the forefront of, of world sport when we are able to produce an athletics champion. After PT Usha, there hasn't been any real athletics champion as such un until this girl comes along, Tintu Luka. Tintu is 20 years old. She's India's top 800 meter runner at the moment. Uh, she's actually a prodigy of Usha and she trains at the PT Usha Academy, which is supported by Olympic Gold Quest. Okay, I, I, I just want you ha to have a look at this table. This table is the, the top, I hope everyone can see that. This table is the 800 meter women's final at the Beijing Olympics 2008. The top eight runners in the world. I want you to have a look the, at the eighth runner. Okay, she, she, she clocked two minutes, two seconds out there. Today, Tintu's personal best timing, which she just ran in December 09, uh, was two minutes, one second. Tintu's now consistently running timings in the top 20 women athletes uh, in the world. And for us, that's a matter of great pride. Believe me, athletics is really, really hard. There's so much science that goes into running, and Tintu is a fabulous runner. Okay, uh, we are, uh, this is a sort of graph of Tintu's progress where, where we are taking her up to a latest timing where she's running uh, two, two minutes, one second, and she's improving almost two seconds a year. But, but our goal is if we want Tintu to really, truly challenge for a medal in, in London 2012, Tintu has to improve almost three seconds a year. We are, we are, we are researching constant, constantly to finding the best coaches in the world to get the best nutrition for Tintu to, um, you know, for her to really push, push her body, push the limits to, 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 to go up to that place where she can uh, genuinely challenge for an Olympic medal. What would it take to win a medal for Tintu? We are in uh, uh, April 2010. The Olympics is in July, August 2012. We have got around two and a half years to go. And uh, to push Tintu, the cost of a six second improvement w uh, in, in these two and a half years, which, uh, which is very possible, which is definitely very possible, it would take as much as two million a year. That's around 20 lakhs a year to push Tintu up for the first couple of years and then as you reach the final mile, it's going to cost even more. Uh, where does this cost go into? That's uh, the, the usual things, top class training facilities, her air travel, accommodation, excellent nutrition and not into eating burgers at McDonald's. Uh, 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 doctors and physios, so, so important. And, 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 and these are elite doctors who know how to get the best of elite athletes. And uh, 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 they're, they're not really dealing with, with a normal person. Uh, this is basically uh, the cost that would go into sending her to Crystal Palace where some of the best uh, women middle distan distance runners train. Um, you know, running spikes are so important. Tintu also came from such a poor family. She trains with the PT Usha girls where when we first joined in, these girls actually ran bare feet because they had one, one pair of spikes and they wanted to save it for the tournament and not uh, really spoil it uh, in, in training. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
you know the the potential and possibilities of this entire movement are enormous for for me uh, uh, we don't want to complain about infrastructure and playgrounds uh, in in bombay take for example hockey we have one astroturf ground in in you go to melbourne you 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 go to uh, munich in germany each each of the cities has almost 50 astroturf grounds india totally has 35 astroturf grounds holland has 600 astroturf grounds uh, i i played the bundesliga in germany which is uh, the uh, which has one of the best hockey leagues in the world and uh, you know, my club team the stuttgart kickers had four astroturf grounds and 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 kids of the age of 5 and 6 years old were, were playing on astroturf and i still love to see that in india unfortunately our kids are playing on on gravel and they're playing on grass so it's a totally entirely different ball game we can't do much about that given the restrictions that we had for playgrounds obviously uh, there's a lot of things can, that can be done for infrastructure but but the but the little things that we can do are are, are the backup support in terms of doctors physios video analysis i think i think we we lack uh, we lack having the will to put that all together giving attention to detail and and giving the best personalized support to the athletes this is something we can definitely do and really bridge that gap and help our athletes get there because in sheer raw talent believe me we are second to none so as i said the potential and possibilities of this are immense um when we started olympic gold quest we thought no we could just uh, uh, help a few athletes and and do something for them to really get the best facilities but what we really wanted to do was was create a movement that would that would get every indian to co- to come out there and and support this i know every single indian is feels passionate about the fact that we uh, we we don't get olympic medals this is something that every single one of us wants to do to really stand up with pride in front of the tv and 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 watch our athletes win and you know, there are there are little ways that we can uh, give back to this cause the choice is really ours one last thought i want to leave you as far as funding for this sort of ventures comes we were just thinking a million Indi- indians if they contribute rupees 10 a month we 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 spend 50 every other day on a, on a, on a barista coffee and uh, if 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 a million indians contribute rupees 10 a month um, that would be able to fund 600 athletes according ac- according to my calculations that's uh, uh, that's 600 grassroots level a- athletes right now we are focusing on around 15 top level athletes but we we are aware of the fact that we n- need to go down more on the grassroots level athletes and uh, uh, i'm sure if rupees 10 a month was debited automatically from our accounts no one would feel the pinch and everyone would stand in front of the tv and 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 really feel the pride of of being part of the program that gave india its next olympic gold medal thanks thanks a lot